Hello folks, this is Bob Dodrill, Application Engineer with Hillco Incorporated. In a previous session, I told you how to get Turk software, how to get the Turk code as a software. And now that you have it loaded and you have your driver set up for your, your hardware profile set up, now you can get started with some programming. And again, we're dealing with CODIS's version 3, 3.5, Service Pack 12, Patch 1. In your case, you downloaded Patch 10, but Patch, it's the same thing. So we have our software open, and we're going to start a new project. I'm going to choose to use a TX HMI device, because the HMI device is what I have connected, and I want to give it a name. So let's call it webinar test. It's good enough. And we can say, OK. Now it's going to ask me, well, which TX device do you have connected? In my case, I do have the TX707 connected. So that's the one that I'm going to use. I choose to use ladder logic, but one of the features of CODISes is that you can choose any of the popular programming protocols to use or any of the, the types of programming that you like. There's structured text, there's sequential function, there's function block diagram, on and on and on. But again, I'm an old school guy, so I like to use ladder logic. So I'm going to say OK here. So I'm going to start up a new project, and it takes just a second for it to get loaded and get everything going in my software. Again, I hear on the left-hand side of my screen is my device menu, my device tree, and we'll be referring to that quite a bit. And again, in my case, I already have a device connected, and I already have the device tab open, so I'm going to scan my network. And there's my TX707. It is available. Now, I have just set up the communication between my PLC and my PC. It was that simple. It's, a, it's as simple as scanning the network and finding the device. Now, to start my new projects, one of the first things I want to do is go to my PLC settings. And right here where it says always update variables, if you'll set that to enable to, then now all of my I.O., once I start setting this up, it will follow my bus cycle task. And now I need to tell it, well, what bus cycle task? So I want it to follow my main task. So my main task is everything's going to run right under this tab or under the main task tab. So now I've set up my communication channel and I'm prepared to start adding things. So the first thing I want to add under, again, under my device menu is I want to right click on that and I'm going to add a device because I want to use Ethernet as my field bus. Well, the first thing I need to add is my Ethernet driver from my PLC out to devices. So I have the option. I can either double click on this or I can click add device. So once it's loaded in this side, now I want to open my Ethernet tab. I need to find the driver that's in my PLC. So I'm going to click this lookup button. And in my case, I, want, I know that this is the IP address of my panel. So I'm going to use this driver right here. And I'm going to say OK. And it automatically loads the IP address of my panel. And I'm prepared to take the next step. In my case, my next step is that I want to right click on Ethernet. I want to add device again. Now, I am choosing to use Profinet as my communication protocol. I just personally like Profinet. If you like Ethernet IP, here's your driver. If you like Modbus TCP, here is your driver. In my case, I'm going to add Profinet to my project. And again, I'm going to close this. Now I want to go to my Profinet device and notice since I already have a connection, since I've already set up my Ethernet, it goes ahead and loads the basic parameters that says, okay, you can use anything between 
1.2 and 1.254. So this is already set up for me. So my next step's kind of cool. I want to actually go online with my device. I'm going to go up to my online tab and I'm going to log in. And yeah, I'm currently in the run mode. So I want to kick out of the run mode and I want to see my project start communicating before I start adding any devices. So it takes just a second and now it starts up and it says, hey, you're in stop mode. So I want to go up here and click my start button. You see where that is? Now I can either click that or hit the F5 key. So I'm going to start it. And now it tells me, okay, it is communicating. Here's your Profinet controller. And since I have this green symbol right here, I have the, I know that I am communicating and at least I've got it working that far. So now I can right click on this device and I can scan for devices. So in scanning for devices, I have this TBN L4 8IO link that is what is attached. So I can simply copy this into my project. And it's going to tell me you can't plug this, but that that's that's something different. So now I have my 8IO link device added to my project by simply scanning. I didn't have to do any searching. I didn't have to do anything but add it by scanning. Now, here, these are devices that I've already added previously that doesn't, when in yours, it will come up as an empty IO link port. Again, mine were already added. So now I'm going to go log out. I'm going to go offline. And I want to check a couple of things. So the first thing I want to do is I want to build my project. So I'm going to go ahead and build my project. And it says, hey, you don't have any errors. You're ready to move forward. Now, my first IO link port, I left it empty to add a IO link device. Now we're taking a new step. We're stepping away from codices for a minute and we're going to deal just on IO link for just a moment. But if I wanted to add a device, then I would right click and I would plug a device, which just means I'm going to plug my device into my IO link port. I have the option here of some specific devices that are already loaded in the software. They're like there's a banner easy array. There's the banner DFG one. Um, I have the Turk LI series. I already have some stuff loaded. Here's some RIRU, the TBIL blocks, all that are is available to me. Or if that's not in there, then I can right click. I can plug device. And I can look at generic. So I already know that my device that I'm going to use, let's just say it's two words of input process data. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to tell it to plug. So now I have my generic two word device in. I open that. It tells me now here's my parameterization menu. If I want to make add some things here. If I want to make changes, here's my IO link. And then here is my mapping. And my mapping is where I can give things an address. So I'm going to give mine an alias and I'm just going to call it IOL1. I'm going to make this one IOL2. So that is the basic setup on how to get your devices, how to get your Ethernet devices, in my case, Profinet, added to your project so you're ready to move forward. So this will end this session. The next session that I'll be doing will actually get into a little bit of PLC programming. Thank you, and I hope you continue to watch these videos.